Hey guys, here are my USD 115 predictions. As always, you can head to Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, and YouTube to catch all my videos and get in contact with me. And after you watch this video, head to MMAgirls.net and enter in your predictions. The first person with the most correct gets a poster from MMAgirls.net. First prediction is Rich Franklin versus Chuck Liddell. And if you're an MMA Girls fan, you know that I'm a Rich Franklin fan. I've obviously been doing these videos for about almost four years, coming up in November, so you, you know from my past videos I'm a Rich Franklin fan, so let's just get that out of the way. Um, in Rich's last fight, he uh, didn't turn out too well for him. I mean, the old Vitor showed up, and that's what I was kind of worried about. Um, but you have to remember that Rich's only losses in the UFC have been to Angelus and Silva and Vitor, so... So factor that in. Um, now he's in the fight with Chuck Liddell, and Chuck definitely has knockout power, and he has the ability to finish Rich in this fight. Um, I don't think this fight's going to go to the ground, so I'm just going to take that away. I'm not even going to think about that. Be surprised if it does. Um, honestly, I think this fight's going to go where Rich is going to try and outscore Chuck, and Chuck is trying to gonna try and counter and knock Rich out. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. It's very possible. I mean, like I said, Chuck has a lot of power, but... I think this fight's going to go more along the lines of Rich and Vanderlei Silver fight, like how that fight went, as opposed to Vanderlei Silver and Chuck Liddell. Um, so I'm going to go with Rich, by decision. Yay, Rich Franklin, by decision. Next prediction is Krokop versus Pat Barry, and I actually met Pat Barry um, at UC 104 here in Los Angeles, and he's a very, very nice guy. I was hanging out with Tracy Lee and my roommate, and he just came on by and started talking to us, and really, really... Seemed like a really genuine guy, and um, obviously I was, you know, I felt that energy from him, and I was supporting him in his fight, and he ended up winning, and I, uh, I was really happy. And he's coming off this big TKO win over Anthony Hardonk, and now he gets a revitalized Krokop. <sighs> With Krokop, I'm, I'm a little too skeptical about his people talking about him like running for, you know, a title shot again. I'm just a little skeptical. Um, I just, I don't know. I think that. I really think that Barry could TKO him in this fight, and the reason being, I think that if he can, if Barry can weather Krokop Storm, inflict his own damage, and then kind of make Krokop want to get out of this fight, find a way to get out of this fight, I think I think he can win. Um, the whole question being is, can he weather Krokop Storm? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, in, in recent fights, it seems like Krokop, he just really doesn't like to get bullied. And I don't know what Pat Barry's game plan is, but hopefully, um, you know, he comes out and puts the pressure on Krokop. I'm going to go with Pat Barry by TKO. Next prediction is Polo Tiago versus Martin Kampman. Now that Polo has gone through the AKA trio, he gets another well wanted fighter, Kampman. Ah, I don't know. I mean, Kempman has, you know, obviously has the advantage in the stand-up, but Polo is willing, he's willing to trade, he's tough, um, he's not the most technical striker, but like I said, he's tough and he's willing to trade, and he obviously, I mean, he showed his black belt level jiu-jitsu against Mike Swig when he quickly, like, blocked up that dark stroke. So he has the, Polo has the advantage on the ground. I'm just scared that Kempman might be the first guy in the UFC to put Polo away, finish him with strikes. Um, I don't know. Is that my phone? Yes, my phone went off. Um, man, I don't know. It's, it's a tough pick for me because I've never actually picked Polo to win. And I kind of, I'm going to pick him out of guilt because I've never picked him. And I know it's kind of like a really, people are going to be like, oh my god, you're picking him because you've never picked him before. Well, I mean, he's pr proven himself. He's a great fighter and he definitely could win this. I can see it. And he's great on the ground. He's tough. I just really am conflicted because Kaepernick really matches up well with him. He's a great striker and... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna pick Polo, but maybe if I pick Polo, Kempman might win. Maybe Polo Tiago is the new my new Houston Alexander. For those of you who remember, with Houston Alexander, I always used to pick him, and he never won, or vice versa. If I didn't pick him, he would win. So maybe Polo Tiago is that person. He's becoming that person. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm picking Polo Tiago. Next prediction is Ben Rothwell versus Gilbert Ivel. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'm, I'm horrible at pronouncing names, by the way. Um, both guys coming off losses, Ben to Kane and Gilbert to Junior Dos Santos. But uh, none, of these, none of those losses are anything to be ashamed of. I mean, both 
Kane and Junior Dos Santos are contenders for the belt. So, um, Ben and Gilbert, they're big boys that hit hard, they're willing to trade, and um, I don't know, it's really like a flip of the coin with these two. I think I'm going to go with Ben, my decision. It really is like a flip of the coin with, with me, with these two. Um, I'm going to go with Ben, my decision. Last prediction is Carlos Condon versus Roy McDonald, and Carlos's past two fights in the UFC have been a decision loss to Camp and a decision win over Ellenberger. And I really want Carlos to do well in the UFC and be as exciting as he was in the WEC, and I think this is the fight to do it. Because Carlos, he likes to fight off his back, and if he doesn't get the submission, he actually usually loses the decision because the person usually on top kind of plays a conservative top game. And I don't think it's going to happen in this fight because McDonald is well-rounded and I think the stand-up is going to be exciting and I think there's going to be exciting scrambles on the ground. So I'm really looking forward to this fight and I'm going to go with Carlos Condit by decision.